play it on Xbox One. Hello and welcome one and all to the February edition of the Playground Games live stream. We're joining you today to show you everything that's new is coming up in Update 6 to Forza Horizon 4. I'm Mike Brown and joining me on the sofa today is none other than Mr. Andy Baranowski. <laughs> Andy, hey what have you been playing? Uh, still loads of Forza Horizon 4. Can't Ex get enough of it. Excellent, that's what we like to hear. <laughs> and joining us as well is Retro Crystal. Uh, Retro, what have you been playing lately? Uh, a little bit different. I've played a bit of Forza, but uh, I've been trying out the new Battle Royale Apex uh, Legends that's been going around. Unfortunately, it's not got as many cars in. Uh, it's got ships. Close enough, but uh, unfortunately, no cars. No I'm cars. No, no cars. No cars. Sorry, no. disappointment. <laughs> disappointment. I'm, sure right I'm sure it's just a flash in the pan. <laughs> 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 um, all right, let's take a look at what's coming up on the show today. All right, so first up, we've got a first look at a brand new uh, seasonal, uh, seasonal playground game, which is a totally new way to play playground games. We're going to follow that up with the car pass and reward cars. We're going to take a look at the other, another new type of season event, which is a street race seasonal championships. Then our brand new Horizon story, which is skill streak. We're going to take a look at a root blueprint challenge that we've been sent by someone in the community. And then finally, we're going to take a look at what's on the horizon, what's coming up in the future updates. So shall we get stuck right in, guys? Yeah. The first thing we want to take a look at is seasonal playground games. As I just said, this is a totally new way uh, to play playground games. So previously, if you'd wanted to do one, any of the playground games modes, you had to either go into uh, online adventure, um, which yeah, involved all of the going in that online adventure, you end up being ranked, you get put loads of people, or you'd be in Horizon Life and you'd then need to find a convoy, get everyone into your group together, and then take part in Horizon Life. By making them into a season event, it, it takes away a lot of that fuss. You can just drive up to the, the, the arena, you sign up for it, uh, which hopefully our convoy leader is about to do in this session, uh, and then you jump straight in. You match make with the whole community, it puts you in, and it's a load of fun. Um, I should, I should clarify, we are in a development build, so when you see anything that's a bit broken or you see any cars you're not supposed to see, please take that with a pinch of salt. It is just the nature of showing you things on a development build. Um, so... Yeah, we're just waiting at the moment for our uh, convoy leader to hook us up with the game. It says he's searching, so I'll just take yeah. it. Yeah, so it's about 20 seconds. Bear with us a little bit. Um, oh, check out that livery. Nice job. Nice job, <laughs> GD, GD2 Xbox on Someone's that uh, AP livery. Someone's found the stamp button, haven't they? So Retro, do you have a favourite um, playground game? Oh, um, oh, probably Infection. I do play some of the others. Uh, I'm really bad at the capture the flag, but uh, probably Infection is probably my most favourite. I think that's one of the ones where I'm really pleased with the improvements that are made between Horizon 3 yeah. and 4. Um, just that additional that as soon as you tagged, you're not like straight out. You've got a chance to yeah, redeem yourself by your for teammates. such. Yeah, yeah, um, it's cool. I must say, it's very similar in that in King as well. Uh, you know, the, the fact that we've got the mechanic where it can slow you down, um, you know, which gives yeah. the other team an opportunity, but then it makes it a bit more strategic. You pass it on to your teammate, you just, you know, drive off. Uh, no, I, I do like uh, King as well. Yeah, all up, it's been, I think it's one of those areas where we've spent, spent a lot of time, put a lot of effort into improving the, um, improving all the rule sets, improving all the flow of the Playground games. And like I say, they've been, I feel like they haven't really got the love they've, they've, they've really deserved because they've been kind of pu pushed aside a little bit. So um, now we put them front and center, it makes it really easy for everybody to get involved. Um, and we're going to take a look at this one now. So this is the, the Summer Games Championship. Uh, another great thing about the fact that they're season events is that we can put on, we can layer on these vehicle restrictions and make them a, have them a, a fun challenge. So this one, which was this one, Andy? Uh, so the event. What, was the, what was the restrictions on this? Uh, so this is A-Class, uh, well, up to A-Class off-road cars. Nice. For this one, yeah. And we're at the uh, train yard. Train yard, excellent. Yeah, so in order to take part in these, all you do is just drive up to the arena in the world, you hit X, it signs you up, and then they start, I think, every five minutes. It'll just match make you in. All automatic, all very easy. Um, cool. Um, yeah, we've got, I don't, want to, I don't want to spoil too much, but the, uh, the, the, spring, the spring edition uh, is a, is a particular favourite of mine. Um, spring it's, reason for that, or just yeah, no, the the, the event. It's a it's a at Mortimer Gardens, so up in the northwest of the map, and it requires everybody be in an A class uh, BMW i7, uh, <laughs> <laughs> which, which for those who don't know is uh, a, a vintage BMW, which is about the size of a football. Yeah, <laughs> micro car. Yes, very much living up to car. its name. It certainly doesn't fit in with the uh, the, the modern stable of uh, BMWs. Right. So. Uh, what are we in here? This is survival, right? Yeah, it was survival. So you are on the survivor team, and you're currently being hunted by the zombie. It's one of them just there. Okay, at the moment. Sort of hanging out with this guy, just in case. You could, well, yeah, that's, that's, that's how to survive a zombie apocalypse, isn't it? Hang around with someone slow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they <it>. go first. <laughs> I'm 
gonna say it'd be really cool to see uh, more clips of this. Uh, we tend to see uh, people doing uh, stunts. I've seen various stunts around in the, the rally yard. But I've never seen people do it whilst in a playground game, so, or somehow do it. You know, do, doing stunts just to avoid another player. That'd be really cool to see. So if anyone does have any sort of clips, feel free to you know tweet us in at, at We Are Playground. Uh, oh, oh you've been excited! Right, okay. Let's go and see if we can find one of our teammates. One. Oh, you know, we don't want to make it too long. If, if Andy really turns on, it really makes it quite boring to watch. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> oh, exactly. Andy, GD2 Xbox, there? you need to slow down. <laughs> but not too much. I think he's upstairs. Oh, they had, oh wow, he got those zombies. Oh, I've already been got though. Oh, that's good. I'll stay away from there maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got one last survivor. Where is he? Oh, this is going to be over. Oh, my goodness. Really, really nice you can you can tell it's live, can't you? The quality of driving has just dropped uh, significantly. Attempted by hey Mike, why don't you pre-record these models? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Yeah. It'll be okay. Okay. It's fine. okay. Well, we'll pretend that never happens. Uh, cut. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that was round one of uh, infected. We don't. We don't. And I go straight into round two. Yeah. So you are now on the infected team. Right. Uh, well, let's try and do a little bit better this time. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You've got the numbers advantage this time. Yeah, we do. I said 4v3. Get him into a corner, tag him. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where's that come from? <laughs> Let's see how we right. Do. All right. They're all bunched up at that other end, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, they're usually Are they going to move? Yeah. yeah not there pointing we go. at each other, don't you? We've got someone coming. Oh. 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 Yes. So. In order to build up this uh, ongoing rivalry on these streams, I think you know that the, uh, the Ozone player in front of you was uh, Matt Piper. Oh, no. Um, or maybe we shouldn't follow him. <laughs> because, uh, Matt is a bit of a deal. There you go. Oh. Yeah, it's all right. G I've got a feeling 2GD1 is Dave Orton, so it should be much uh, <laughs> e e easy meet by comparison. <laughs> the first to go. <laughs> Oh, wait, it's two in front. Yeah, he's gone. Right. Go on. Oh, this is it, this is this it. Is it. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> so close. One's down, one's down. It's not, not been a particularly successful demonstration yet, has it? <laughs> I mean, the other team's doing very well. Yeah. Um, so. oh, everybody's having fun. <laughs> 37 seconds left. Oh, go on. Oh, that was, that was so close. No, you didn't get it. No. No, that was really close. All right, come on, let's see. All right, all right. Chat, what do you reckon? Do you reckon you'll do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we picked you up, Andy. We said yeah, I know. Right now we... Oh, what? Done. There we go. Well done, he well got done. <laughs> caught in that fence, That's didn't he? That's a uh, oh. 1.2 uh, red team. Oh, nice work. Go. Yeah, so these these championships, you, you you step through the different playground games. There's five of it, five games total, so you do well. You do one of each game, and then uh, and then a mixed bag, I think, of what comes after that. So next up, I think, is King. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. This it is, is King. Team, Team King. King. All right, let's see who's got the crown. And hold your crowns as long as possible to Not score you. points. Whoever scores the most <laughs> right, okay. points. So we're down the uh, catchily named 2 dev 981 992926. We're coming for you, 2 dev 981. <laughs> 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 He's in the scout 800. <clears throat> also got a lower PI in the rest of his team, so. Yeah, I've got a Chris Phillips special tune. Oh, oh is it? So, uh, should be right. All right, so where? See, he's right in the middle there of his, uh, of his yeah. buddies. We're going to. Um, Oh, I know, I got caught by that smashable. Or not rather, smashable. not smashable. <laughs> Has he lost it already? I was going to say, where's the next yes, crown? He hasn't he? It's down the other end. It's now with oh, it's, it's been handed off to Matt Piper, so. Yeah, oh, so good luck. Well, <laughs> he'll get. Well, protect the crown we've got. Well, uh... <laughs> he'll get burdened soon, won't he? And I'm not now. Oh, oh, that was a millimetre. <laughs> if we had fitted the aftermarket bumper, that might have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that. That Forza bumper would have been the inch difference you needed there. Yeah. Split her. Oh, oh, there it is. No, go, 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 go
Right, so he's been, he's been slowed. Yeah, he's got his, here he got is. His power cut. There we go. Right, there he's we got go. You've got him. Get out of there. Run. Run away from that. I'll drive, Stephen, because you can't run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We've been tagged. That was oh, no, that was your own team. That was okay, right, team. so I've still got it. Well, not, not fully aware of the rules, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> still look around from their own team. Right. Okay, how long can you keep it for, though? Uh, well, you've got 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going to slow down soon. Find a teammate to have right. enough too. So, where is our guy? Where's your teammates? Oh, they're just behind? Yeah. Do a UE. There we go. There we go. No, that was somebody oh, else. No. He's there, no. <laughs> What were you doing at the end of that train? <laughs> this is uh, incredibly he, he, well... He read you like a book there. He did, yes. Yeah. Like... Was that Matt again? <laughs> I bet it was. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just stop embarrassing you guys on screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you you just, you just knew. <laughs> Cruising yeah. along in his Willie's really Jeep. <laughs> right. Surprised no one's used any chat phrases yet. Oh, why is he hiding? Oh, he's stuck. Right. Oh, there yeah, he well done. Someone's well right. got his crown. GD GD2 Xbox. Let's go and protect him from Matt. Oh, well, that's not nice because it's in the deep, but it's a nice way to grab the crown. Oh, thanks, GDX box, whoever you are. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Oops, there you go. Which way's he going? Which way's he going? He's, yeah. he's, he's not that way, is the yet. answer. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Just look at it. There we go, yeah. We got it. We got it. Right, okay. the wall. Matt, the wall you now. can <laughs> go somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, he's got it again. Oh, it's that ramp. They just do the exact same thing. Oh man, you're losing it. Blue team got it. For the moment. Got both crowns. Oh. Every second that, that, that goes past, they gain two seconds of advantage. How long have we got it for? Who's Are we winning? Is that, is that someone on your team? Yeah, just uh, trolling you. Yeah. It might not be. It might be the other guy on their team just trying to like pick the team. I don't know. It's on your team. <laughs> Great, great job, uh, 2Dev9035206.72. Oh, right, oh, over in the, the far corner, there's someone that's got a crown. Oh, they've been slowed as well. They have. They have. Oh, it's Matt. We can't get it's over Matt, there. he's got no teammate. Oh, go on. Um. Yeah, in these cars, it, it, you can end up getting slowed down to about 12 miles an hour, so you can probably get out and just run after him. Oh, he's, he's, he's so nimble with that car. He is, like, it's a really good choice, though. It's a J5. I think it is. There oh, there is. we go, there we go. I got him. I got out of there. All right, let's go. Run. He's still there, though. You can do it, you can drive off. Oh, it's like, it's oh like he's got there. it already. It's like he wasn't aware that we were streaming this and trying to make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that there is team go. over. Uh, I didn't even catch you. Did they win? Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure Blue Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah. I won all time, tying the game, yeah. <laughs> right, just, giving yeah. the other, giving the other, uh, the two, one player advantage. I don't know, I know. Anyone else want to take the phone? <laughs> I'll just oh. leave. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the controller. Um, don't do that. No, no, I'm, I'm not a rage quitter. I'm a, you know. So next up is Flag Rush, which is my personal favourite oh, of I the yeah, playground games. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty. I think when you have a slightly smaller game like this as well, um, it's pretty, it's pretty, 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 pretty easy to get quite a lot of score. Yeah. I mean, you can get quite. Good. Once, you, once you've got six players on either, t on either side, and you've got some attacking, some defending, it gets a bit more, a bit yeah. more, a bit, a bit more valuable. Every, every single point really feels like a massive victory. I, really, I particularly love wins. it at Bamber, the castle with all the sands. Oh, it's lovely. I mean, you can definitely fly over and just avoid a few, uh, few things with that. Because there's that element of danger that if you, if you get those dunes a little bit wrong, then... Uh, that's <laughs> it, you flip the car and yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it, you lose it. But if you get it just right, you can just avoid yeah. the enemy over. Pretty much sail into it when you play it. If you've just joined us, uh, we should mention that we are currently taking part in a seasonal Playground Games event. This is a brand new way to play Playground Games. So, yeah, previously, if you wanted to play Playground Games, you either need to be in a convoy and join it through Horizon Life, or you need to do it in an online adventure. Now, there are season events, so they get slammed down into your map each season, you drive up there and it'll match make you across the entire community. So it's a, a totally new way to play, and, oh dear. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, there's also some cool rewards as well, isn't there, guys? Um, so I think coming up in the Seasonal Playground Games this month, we've got the uh, Volkswagen GLC Beetle, which previously was exclusive to Wheelspin. Uh, we've got the Lotus 211 again. Um, that one previously exclusive to Wheelspin. So 
if you've, if you've been after either of those cars and not managed to get them in wheel spin yet, then now is your chance in these seasonal playground games. Um, oh yeah, and the, uh, the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, that's the other one I was forgetting. So the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, actually one of the very rarest cars in the game. Um, yeah, it was in the Fortstone shop really, really early after the game came out and I think almost everybody missed it. So <laughs> if you are one of those almost everybody, um, <laughs> then now is your chance to get it. Um, so don't miss it. Yeah, these are the 50th anniversary ones, aren't they? So you've got that oh. sweet livery. Special thing to it. Anyway, I've chatted away. What's the score? We're doing alright. Three points. Three say, points. Not bad. Not bad. We've been avoiding quite well. This, this is a bit more up my street. This is... Yeah, it's great. This one. Okay. Maybe not so much of a uh, playground games expert. More <laughs> <laughs> a regular racing. Are you more of an individual or are you more of a group of this team and all go at once with the flag? Uh, I think I'm an individual effort kind of guy. Oh, well, I was what? until then. <laughs> there we go. Lost it. Thanks, mate. Still five points, though. I think, that's I think yeah. That's got five points. How long have we, we got? We've still got a minute. A minute. Yeah, yeah. You can get, you get that to, in. Get that to six or seven. I think you've sewn this up. Whoever this is is obviously going to come from my route now. Your problem is that they, they could have your uh, have the stream open in another monitor and be able to see exactly yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> well, the stream sniper right oh. now. See? <laughs> <laughs> and someone's sitting at the uh, at the zone. Oh my, oh my god! I can't get out. If you if you could get out though, I think you've got a clear run because that is like the entire enemy <laughs> right. team is right here on the spot point. Use the weight, <coughs> the raptor. Right, let's go. Wait, you lost your flag. Did you? Um, there you go. You got it. Thirty seconds though. You can do it. Is that far? Right. Nah. Yeah, you got this. Go on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You're, home, you're home now. Just, and your two teammates are just behind you as well, so I think if you... Uh, oh. Get oh, will you? He's all right. Yeah. Nah, he's blown it. Went the wrong way. Might be able to get seven. Yep, there you go. Seven flags. Nice. And one more. Eight. Eight. There we go. Yeah, good luck, Lee team. Well done, team. <laughs> right now, which way are we going to do this? Are we going to camp, uh, camp the flag <laughs> on the return leg? Or... Uh, are you just going to run after I, people? <laughs> I think you've got to chase people down. I think yeah. Got to, yeah go. We do it the legitimate way. Well, let's do it the that. way that is the best visual spectacle for the viewers, yeah. rather than <laughs> sharking it around the score, the score zone, trying to snipe it yeah. as they come in, which is a, an entirely valid and fruitful yeah. tactic, but perhaps not the best viewing yeah. experience. <laughs> <laughs> not the intended uh, interpretation <laughs> of the game. Yeah, some of the arenas as well have like really nice jumps into the scores then, don't they? They so, do, yeah. 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 Like the Mortimer Gardens one nice especially has got quite a nice little jump in, so you've got people sharking around it, and you just jump straight over. Right, let's have a go. Have we got somebody? No, we're all going for it. Just trying to guess which pathway they'll take. Yeah, my favourite. Yeah, look, that, looks, that looks like what they're going to do. I was about to say, one might go that way. Oh, they're all kind of waiting. Yeah, they're waiting for these guys to... Um, Miss them and then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there we go. Wait for you to overcommit and then. Uh... Oh, we're gonna race. Right. We're gonna yeah. beat them to it. He's not gonna. Go on, Andy. Go on. Oh yes! yes! Denied. <laughs> there we go. Denied. Nicely that done. Perfect. That was actually that is exactly the kind of clip yeah. that uh, Retro was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> you pull off some pro, pro pro plays like that. By all means, clip them, send them to us. Oh, not got this one, though, I don't think. Oh. oh yes. yes. Well done. Nice. Oh, we've got a guy. Blue right team right. have to go some now. That's uh, currently 8-1. That's they need to change their tactics. Where is he? Oh, no, ah! I missed him. There we go. You can have that one. I'll give you that. I'll give him that. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone coming down the middle again. Which way are they going to go here? OK. Let's see on the map. Oh, they're going to take a corner. Yeah, they're going to... Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, what? Planted it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Precision driving. Got the berry there. Yeah. I just, I just got too excited. I'm sorry. Right, right, they've got a minute left, but they need to get five more flags. It's doable. There's one. I was about to say... Oh, no, no. don't let him get another one. Oh, oh no, now it's going to get close. <sighs> yeah, now it's going to get close. Just drove, just yeah. danced through the entire team. Really. <laughs> Andy's shoulders dropped. I know. After such it's a good start. The sofa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a minute left. That's probably enough for two runs. So. It's in the chat. It's what's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can get this one. 
Oh, oh no, no, he's gone no, in. No. Oh, okay. Just feet into the. I'll put it back. Yeah. There's some on your left. Got it though. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh yes. Well Bit of luck. Nice. We'll take that. Okay, they need three in 30 seconds. Can they do it? That's a team. That's, the, That's a team. And they're, they're all back here though. Look, they're all at the uh, at the score zone, not the flag zone. So this is going to be this close. This is going to be really tight. Yeah. 17 seconds. Let's go. Did it picked up. I think you should have gone and controlled them at their spawn point. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which way are they going? Oh, they're going to time out. It's all right. Yeah, they're not going to make it. Four seconds. Oh. oh. You know who that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> Got the better of me again. I was never much for team sports. Nicely school, done. So we made it. 8-5. So what was the overall score? That's 2-1. That makes it 2-1 to, one. Two one. Two one to Red Team. Okay, so my dignity is intact. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was really good fun. I'm glad that uh, more people are going to get to experience uh, I am as well. I, this, is, this is a feature I have been super excited about, so I can't wait for those yeah. to go live on Thursday. So, yeah, only a few days away, and you guys will be able to play those. Uh, this, this was the summer one, which takes place in the uh, rail yard, and the prize for this, one, I think, is the lowest to 11, which... Um, yeah, as I said, is had previously been exclusive to wheel spin, so it was a really, really hard car to get hold of. Um, if you just quit out of this once, yeah. uh, once you're in. The next thing we wanted to talk about uh, was uh, Retro Crystal. We've been running a competition. Uh, yeah, so uh, we've been doing a route creator competition. This is our second uh, out of the ones we've been doing. We've had amazing entries, had uh, various seasons, various uh, races sent in, and it's, we've had really good uh, feedback from it. Uh, we've had some winners. We've had Q Ghost who uh, won, we've had the Magic Yeti, Little Gibbous, uh, Emerald uh, Sundish, HWY uh, Renegade, uh, CGL Gaming, we've had uh, uh, Jack and uh, Carmen the last person that we'll have to find it out, but if they uh, double check the root creator on our forums and you will be able to get uh, some prizes which are actually really good this time. We've got the Ken Block Helmet and Suit, which I know will uh, Spoilers, we went, we went to talk about that. I was about to say, well, uh, <laughs> that'll be a bit later. Uh, <laughs> we'll get onto that. And also the Home Prelude and the Quartz Regalia. Oh, wow. So, yeah, some so amazing cards right in there for the uh, yeah, so those, creator winners. Those of you who have watched the Sports and Monthly stream would have seen us yes. do a big expose on the Quartz Regalia. Uh, Chris was over there talking about it. Uh, great uh, yeah, great job on reading out all those gamer tags. I, yeah. when, I, when I asked you to do that, I, I didn't quite <laughs> fact, factor in how, compli <laughs> how complicated like, ah. that would make it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, great. Uh, what do those guys win? Um. Uh, so yeah, so they also on top of that they get uh, they get I think it's three hundred thousand credits. They get a, a car of their choice as well, which I will discuss with them. And uh, I will spin any car of their choice. Any car of nice, their choice. Nice, nice. That is good. Um, cool. Um, and there was another competition you've been. Yes. So we also had one on our Twitter, which is at We Are Playground. Uh, we've been doing, we allowed the community to bring in whichever photos they just sent us. We had all sorts of, uh, get uh, all sorts of posted. Uh, we had Fortune Island ones, Great Britain ones, different seasons, different weathers. We had ones which were really close and uh, car interior ones were really nice, some of them. Uh, and uh, you will now see them now. Wow, okay, great. So, yeah, we're going to roll to that, v uh, to that VT. Uh, Retro is going to say goodbye to us now. So thanks yep. very much for joining us. Yep, She's going to be replaced thanks. by Chris Phillips in just a moment. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at those photos.
Hello and welcome back to the Playground Games live stream. Uh, you, we were just taking a look at some of the great community photos that have been taken this month. And we've been joined on the sofa by none other, Mr. Chris Phillips, our senior car handling designer. Chris, uh, any photos there that really popped out to you? Yeah, uh, W89, the BMW, I think it was the i8 Roadster, was yeah, it? I think so. Amazing, on the beach, that, just the lighting's incredible, that. Yeah, you'd never believe that was from a game. Um, yeah. yeah, it's quite quite incredible. I thought, I think if that was in the brochure, you'd be, you'd be questioning oh, yeah. the, the reality even of that. <laughs> <laughs> expect the uh, email from BMW tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realized somebody could submit a, a brochure shot to that, and we probably wouldn't know. So yeah. please don't do that. <laughs> 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 please don't tweet actual photos of cars to us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I'm now joined on the sofa by two of our uh, foremost car experts, uh, and we're going to take a look at the uh, new cars in this update. So, guys, what you got for us? Well, we so uh, it's the end of Car Pass now. And the end of Car Pass. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how many cars have we had? Forty-two. So that's 42. twenty-one weeks since launch. Twenty-one weeks, two cars a week. What 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 a journey it's <laughs> well been, done, guys. <laughs> a, um, Good math skills. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So um, yeah. So those guys who had car pass. Yeah. This this is this does round it out. That is uh, forty two cars total. What's what yeah. the final two cars, guys? What have we so got? I think they're two great ones. So Andy just went past one of them. Nope. There. The Sorry about that. Let's go. Cadillac <laughs> Eldorado. Oh yes. Right. Okay. Uh, do you want? I've just remembered we haven't. I know we have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were just, <laughs> just checking that we'd actually uh, purchased the car pass on this account. <laughs> um, it's, it's, like all good, it's all good though. So yeah, I mean, I love this car. It just looks like uh, that sort of late 50s. It's kind of what people in the 50s thought the future was going to look like and how right they were. Um, <laughs> I'm actually kind of gutted the future doesn't look like that. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's I love the uh, li linear speedometer on it. I think that's such a cool look and that's really yeah. exclusive for that sort of era of cars. Yeah, yeah, good cool. shout. Um, also love the the name of this. I believe means the golden one. Nice, it's quite fitting for it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a fantastic car. Um, it would look great in gold as well, wouldn't it? Oh, no. Like the gold and silver some, combo. Got some boot storage. That looks like you could, it does. You could fit another car in the boot <laughs> of that car. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put my uh, Ford Focus in the boot. Of this yeah. Car. <laughs> yeah. So it's 17 foot long, this thing. So it's. Uh, Ideal for uh, a bit of parallel parking in Edinburgh. <laughs> so you're right, the boot probably is about six foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. You could lie down in that. If, if you brought that to London, you wouldn't need to rent anywhere, would you? You just find a parking space big enough for it and just sleep in the boot. That'd be fine. <laughs> I mean, don't, don't do that, please. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, not, not a, not a recommendation. sleep in the boot of any car, yeah. let alone one from the 50s. One, one star trip <laughs> advisor. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we have a look at the next one? Yes, yes, go on. So the next one is uh, something that we're really excited about being British. Uh, it's the return of TVR. So it's the 2019 TVR oh, yes. Griffith. Back from, Back the, from dead. the dead. There you go. Oh, <laughs> right. Can't talk now until someone says your name. <laughs> yeah. That is, uh, that is a really exciting one, that is. So uh, um, unfortunately, it looks like it might be uh, 2020 now before some of the customers start getting their cars. But yeah, they've, uh, they've rebooted the famous uh, Blackpool brand TVR. Uh, so this is... Uh, stereotypically what you would expect from a TVR. It's shouty, it's loud, it looks awesome. Um, yeah, so it's like that sort of back to basics formula of uh, what an enthusiast would want. This also. actually does have traction control and ABS though. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all it's got. No stability management, I don't think. Well, sadly these days yeah. you have to have some electrical <laughs> uh, hand holding to get it on the road, but it's still, you know, it's about as, as raw as you can get. But it's a, it's a really, really cool car. It's an awesome comeback. I mean, the car itself is actually, it, it's more tame than a normal TVR. It actually makes quite a lot of downforce, this thing. Um, the yeah. Tame? Yeah. For a TVR, tame. Is it still uh, built in the UK? Yes. Yeah, still it is. will be. Built in the UK. Uh, yeah. they're, uh, I think it's still in Blackpool. Uh, no, no, they're building a new factory in Wales yeah. for it, yeah. um, with a little bit of help. Yep. So uh, hopefully that's uh, it's all going to be finished soon. Great, so yeah, if you're a car pass owner, check this out, and then it sounds like pre-orders are open, you can get yeah, your order yeah. in, get one of these delivered to your home for 2020. Um, yeah. Well, TVR, I appreciate me saying that. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Should have arranged some sort of merchandising deal for that, really. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, so even though uh, the car pass is coming to an end, that is by no means uh, the end to new cars to the game. There'll be many, many more opportunities for us to have new cars, uh, not least the reward cars that are yeah. dropping yep. um, in, in this update as well. We've got four reward cars, is that right, guys? Yep, so to sit alongside the Griffith, we also have the Tuscan, 2001 Tuscan. Where is it? There we go. Um, which I believe oh, is right available in summer in a street race championship. Uh, 
Yes, we haven't talked about Swedish Championship yet, but yeah. yes. Oh, um, yes. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. Um, uh, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's okay, we can talk about there this. Is. Um, are yeah. we going to get in it? Or is that, is that too no, much no, we'll, we'll flip through these. Okay, ones, go on. Yeah, yeah. All right. But there it is in all of its uh, flip paint glory. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what that. you remember a TVR <laughs> as, uh, that particular paint style. I'm going to test Andy's ability in the uh, in my car screen. Um, <laughs> oh, I was about to say, try and find that one. Um, this is a particular fan favorite. The uh, What we know as the 300 ZX Turbo over here, or the Fair Lady. Yeah. Um, this is a, yeah, massive fan favorite car. Uh, it's really great to have it back in the game. Mm, so. Yeah, massively fan requested. So uh, you're welcome. We've uh, managed to squeeze that one in. Um, what else we got, guys? So we've also got another Cadillac, Cadillac Escalade. Great. There we go. Escalade. I don't know. Uh, pronunciation. Escalade. It's tomato, tomato, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we decided to get that you from. But yeah, that's cool. Uh, you can recreate all your favorite uh, rap videos yep. and such yep. with that. I think that's, uh, it's got that classic. Yep. Uh, like VIP, yeah, probably America close to 17 feet long as well. Yeah, to be I tell you, what, that's, it's going to be really good watching people drive those around with the limos. You can yeah, have your own yeah, sort of yeah. like oh, convoy yeah. VIP, nice. VIP nice. convoy. Yeah, so that's going to be good. And what was the last and, one, Chris? Uh, it's too long. Oh, there we Honda go. Prelude. So a lot of yeah. Honda fans out there, you yeah. included. You like yeah, I do them, like uh, a faded red Honda in particular. This one's <laughs> been slightly better cared for than most of my Hondas. Have been, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's a really cool one. I, I like that. I think that's going to go down really well. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and that one is available in the one of the community championships, I think. Um, I'm right. Okay. Scared, scared to say what season it is. In case it's wrong, <laughs> but I think it might be summer. Um, so yeah, should we take a look at the uh, seasonal street races? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, this is another uh, brand new feature. Do you know where it is? You'll have to tell me where it is. Um, it's just uh, up to the left of where you are. I think there you go. It's behind that. Uh, Which way? Behind that. Uh, oh, that Left of it. Behind, it's hidden, ah, hiding behind the speed zone icon. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, along with the uh, seasonal playground games, we're also adding seasonal street scene for the first time. So this is the very first time you'll have been able to do uh, street races in a championship, um, which is a, a cool new feature. I think street races have a really, a really nice flavour, uh, separate from the rest of the races in the game. Uh, as, as Chris mentioned just earlier, um, got some great rewards for them as well. Uh, this one is summer. You can get the TVR Tuscan. Um, in addition to that, you can also get that Nissan Fair Lady, I think, in autumn, and the Cadillac Escalade in, I guess, sure I think winter. winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, right, another unrehearsed uh, race for me to do. <laughs> <So> <laughs> this could be fun. We are going to judge you. I know you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it's a street race as well, so it has all those extra dice rolls of, yeah, uh, yeah. of Civ traffic come to ruin it. Oh, so, okay. um, so normally uh, street races are just uh, completely open class, uh, rock up and away you go. Um, with the seasonal ones, uh, Jay has put a bit, of, a bit of a spin on it, they've got a bit of theming this time, so this one is all super saloons. Yeah, so, so like late businessmen, yep, all on their yep. way. So <laughs> <laughs> all these. All the businessmen out in their executive saloon cars doing some late night street racing. <laughs> Crash into the next holiday in. <laughs> it's uh, authentic Britain, yeah. <laughs> oh, he, he cut you up. It's not even it a BMW. No, it's a typical super saloon driver tactic. So it's it's a Volvo. Volvo. Volvo's yeah. normally really polite. <laughs> Need to update the driver task system to uh, accommodate uh, polite politeness. Volvo, <laughs> polite Volvo drivers. <laughs> Andy oh, thinks this looks very, very easy. I suspect Sign we have not brilliant. not adjusted our yeah. We should probably bump down uh, yeah. TVR. Oh, is it not an expert? Oh, that was a that was a mistake, wasn't it? No TVR tasking for us, I'm afraid. You'll have to win that yourselves. Interesting livery that someone's got on there. Is it an infinity? Maybe. Okay. Oh no. You made mincemeat of this. I, I have yeah, blasted now, through. Yeah, and now it's just like watching you on your late late night drive home, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure you cut corners like that when you. Yeah, yeah. Car, yeah. Don't you? This, this is me on my way to the supermarket. <laughs> Brilliant roads, uh, as, as seen in, in countless car commercials yep. um, and uh, Top Gear episodes. Yeah, so usually uh, the street scene events are actually uh, slightly more difficult than your regular events. Um, 
unfortunately, I think we've gone into this on default difficulty settings, which is meant yeah, we don't really get to parameter. don't really get to, to, to see that in action. Um, yeah, I would normally uh, sandbag a little bit. Oh, you're running wide, wide a lot. Yeah. I know it's, it's it's the nerves of being live with you guys <laughs> and having uh, particularly having Chris next to me judging my driving. There's a, a little bit of uh, friendly rivalry between us, definitely. There we go, Dog Bork, one in first place. There we go. Excellent. That was tough. <laughs> 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 well, let's keep going. Are we going to do uh, do a couple more, or is that? Um, just check in for time. Let's uh, jump back to the festival and take sure. a look at the new clothing rewards. Yeah, we can do that. So we have kind of mentioned these already a couple times in the stream, but yeah. So um, in fact, let's let's wait till we get there. Um, mm -hmm. Let's not. You'll have to, you'll have have to give me a second uh, <laughs> to get through these Get through these wheel spins. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and another one. Uh, right. 2,000 credits. Excellent. Mm. Yeah. That's my lucky streak, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. And I've still got to quit out of this, have I? No. No, no, no. no. Right. It's when it's yeah, solid. Yeah. Okay, right. So I'll quickly fast travel over to the festival. Where is it? Cool, it's been a while since Big I've H been... Big Andy. <laughs> I've been on Fortune for too long. <laughs> <laughs> Lost my bearings. Yeah, how have you, have you got on with Fortune? You've been still playing through that. You're still yeah, yeah. On that drift I, I am yet to break into the 600k club on, uh, Wait, on the drift zone. Oh, yes. Now. Yeah, there are a good few people over 600,000. How they've done it, I don't know. I've been trying my hardest that I'm mid 500. Is it still 000. the Viper? Uh, yeah, yeah. Lots of people using the Viper. It's amazing what people have done. Like They've just taken it and ran with it <laughs> like uh, we so yeah i mean well maybe maybe what you needed is some new you know drift drifting themed garments ah. to adorn yourself and that'll give you that that little bit of extra edge uh, right, yeah well, so uh coming up in this update uh some of the rewards of our seasonal championships we've got some some really cool hoonigan clothing so uh, a lot of you guys watching this will be big fans of ken block and and his videos um and we've got some really cool rewards so there you, go. You, you can like channel your inner block and <laughs> <laughs> definitely <laughs> should we tog up in our Ken Block outfit there we go yeah, so Ken Block doesn't normally wear a red velour baseball cap does he <laughs> so have we got um, let's see if we've got a matching thing at the bottom there it is it's the brain bucket there we go <laughs> uh, is, is what it's called there we go I just said brain bucket. It is, nice. yeah. That nice. wasn't just a, uh, was just a, a passing a, comment. I thought that was an Andy <laughs> flourish. Yeah. Um, or probably more traditionally, we've also got the uh, the Ken Block Monster Energy cap. That's it. Um, when you're signing your autographs. Yeah. 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 And when you're and trying to sell caps. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's really cool. I like that. I, I love the uh, the art style of all of his gear at the moment. Mm. It, it's really cool. It's so unique. So there we go. Yeah. Should we go full helmet. Or yeah, go, on, go. Let's yeah. Let's on with that. Yeah. So obviously the block is a, a master drift driftsman. So yeah. Well, maybe that maybe that would give you the edge if we were in uh, in fortune. That could <laughs> be <laughs> the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a go. Like, I'll report back next month. So. <laughs> um, yeah. So you can win the Ken Block suit. The helmet is in a street race, I believe. Right. And the uh, the suit and the hat are in a seasonal championship in summer. Um, I believe that's right. I hope that's right. Um, I should have checked. Um, <laughs> <coughs> um, okay, so uh, next up, we are going to say farewell to Chris Phillips and bring in uh, Mr. Torben Ellett to talk about a new Horizon story. So, shall we bring, bring up the run order and see what we've got coming up next? Yeah, so just seen our new seasonal championships, and next up is the brand new Horizon story street scene, followed by a root blueprint community challenge, and then a look forward as to what's coming up on the horizon. Okay. Okay, and welcome back. This is Mr. Torben Ellis, senior game designer. Torben, what have you been playing lately? Uh, I've been playing uh, Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. That doesn't sound like a real game. Is it? <laughs> it is, it's <laughs> absolutely a real game that I have played on my actual computer. Does, does it have cars in it? No, no, it doesn't. Uh, no, no, no. No, nothing to worry about there then. So, um, <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> have you uh, before we jump into the Horizon story, we've got a question from LZG Tiger Spirit. Uh, will there be more car packs for Forza Horizon 4? Uh, yeah, we have got many, many car more cars lined up. Loads of them will be free. Uh, some of them will probably have some of the deals and, and DLCs that they'll be attached to. But yes, we'll be keep adding more and more cars as we move forwards. Um, 
Torben, yes. uh, you're here to talk about Skillstreak. I am indeed. Torben, what indeed. is Skillstreak? Uh, it's a New Horizon story. Uh, it starts uh, here at the totally not Stonehenge. I mean, uh, the Stone Circle. At not Stonehenge, yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> unlocks at level 60, uh, but that's just details. Uh, what it is, is basically skills and cars, 10 chapters of going nuts in great cars. Wow, okay, right. yeah. sounds great. Mm -hmm. um, who Who's it voiced by? Who, who? Uh, so Jamin is uh, J Jamin's the uh, the ambassador is what we call them. Uh, <laughs> I remember you and I we, we were having a bit of fun with like how, how does he afford all these cars? Because the, the whole idea is you're driving his cars, yep. uh, showing what you can do. Like this uh, two million pound Porsche. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And Which Jay, is just one of the cars. Jay, Jay's that guy there who's like 21 or something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it built like an actual tank. It's great. <laughs> it's great. Um, but. This is actually a really interesting story because it, it was purely mechanics driven, right? Mm, a lot of the other stories have more, more narrative uh, flourish and flair to them. But this one is just boils down to it's really fun to get big skill scores. So let's make a story that is about getting big skill scores. Makes total sense to me. Mm -hmm. right. um, Should we give it a go? Uh, we, yes. we, do we have any, uh, any deep horizon lore? About oh, absolutely. Where, about it's the, all the deep horizon lore. Of, um, of Jay's fabulous wealth and all, uh, all these uh, exotic. Yes, but, but that's, uh, that's the deep horizon lore that, 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 never, leaves, uh, that, that, that never leaves the building. Um, yes, the, the less said about how he affords these cars, I, I think uh, the, the better. Um, but uh, not just, uh, so there's a, there's a little update to the game uh, alongside this, which is quite a minor thing, but I know it's, it's something that, that has been, uh, it's been a real niggle for a while. Uh, and it's the fact that now the game will actually tell you how well you're doing in the context of the story. So uh, if, uh, if, uh, if if you would be uh, willing to bank around 25,000. Whoa, uh, just sure, quite. okay. Okay, Give let's, us a second. let's get another five, uh, five or so grand on top of that. Um, yes. And all of these cars have upgrade presets uh, by, uh, by, by Chris and the rest of our, and the rest of our um, handling team. So they are all designed uh, to be great skill machines. So should take only that. Uh, is that going to be enough? Yeah, there we go. Great. And observe, there it now go. tells you what you need to do oh God. to get two stars. That's a bit of an uphill struggle now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You've kind of, kind of thrown Andy under the bus to yeah. demonstrate that. Yes, uh, <laughs> I have. Uh, because actually, uh, the way that, that we tweak difficulty for these was to essentially design it so that if you're not building a skill streak, constantly throughout the entire chapter, you're probably not going to get three stars. And he's really good there, so I think he will. Yes. Well, I mean, it's a 3.6 mile drive and got to get there in two and a half minutes. There's, there's actually a, a, a quite a fun balance there between, uh, because you could just kind of go off uh, in, into a nice bit of rough terrain and really bank some skills, but then you've got to get to your destination in time as well. So uh, I see you're... Uh, just doing a little bit of tagging where mm -hmm. I can. Exactly. I mean, it's, it, it's about keeping the straight line speed so, you, so you're constantly closing on your, on your destination, but also just keeping the, the skill, uh, the actual streak going. Yeah, I think oftentimes sticking to the road um, usually makes it easy to drift. It mm. means you do get that civilian traffic as well, which mm. are really useful for a lot of the That's combos it. to do the sort mm -hmm. of drifting overtakes. But are also a real risk thing. Oh, of course, yes. yeah. Yes. I mean, I remember sitting and, 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 and tweaking difficulty with oh, these. And it's let's like, turn that into a 360. Oh, no. Go. So probably, probably call that JTAC. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so that is uh, that's, uh, 125. What's the uh, north of 200,000? Oh, crikey. Yeah. So, uh, also, because this is a story that we're adding to the game post release, we actually tweaked, I think, difficulty a little bit uh, more aggressively than we would have done if this had been in for launch because people have played the game a bunch more mm -hmm. and are a bunch better at it. And this one unlocks quite late as well. It does, it, it unlocks uh, level 60. Level 60, so if you're not already level 60, and if you're watching this, you, mm. you probably are already level 60, but if not, then um, make sure you're getting out there and leveling up ahead of the release of this on Thursday? On Thursday, yes. Thursday. And there's a really nice reward on it as well. Uh, we'll actually look at it a little bit later. Okay, so I won't all right, spoil. yeah. Okay, you've got 45 seconds to get there. I think he's done it. You reckon? I reckon oh, he's done it. Oh, okay, oh, I'm, uh, 40, yeah, maybe, maybe. A couple if more. If you can get a little bit more, yeah. if you get a little bit more. There we go, right. Okay, let's see. So just don't bank, don't, don't A through it. I don't think I blinked for about two minutes. Okay. <laughs> 239,900. Uh, oh. But that was, a, that was a new thing as well. He did, uh, he did tell you. <laughs> <laughs> As, 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 as I did throw you as, as yeah. I did, uh, Torben said you will not be able to complete it. I think you did a, 
Yeah, there you go. You're well, putting a good show. Apologise to all those people looking for a three-star performance. Okay. <laughs> uh, we got time for another chapter? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Right. Uh, when you get out, let's take a look at um, chapter three. Okay. Uh, Oscar Alim asks, <coughs> any new events for Fortune Island? It's always the same ones. Um, yeah, there's nothing in update yeah. six. We're going to try and look yeah. to remedy that in update seven, I believe. Sorry. So, yes, on the horizon. Yeah. And then uh, solo and select chapter. And then we want uh, show me. Show me, yeah. Okay, we can do that. Did that say Silly Bugatti? It did. Oh, no. I think we need, <laughs> I think a you need super to fast one. <laughs> I do think we're going to need to add another story to explain the uh, origins of all these cars, I think. Oh, the EB1 I, I, would, I would love to do that. We did a. In the uh, Fast and Furious DLC for Horizon 2, that was all about sort of sourcing all the cars that appeared in the movie. I feel like you could do a. You, you, you could have some real fun with that. Yeah. Have some real fun with that. It's a good job that wasn't the original Fast and the Furious that we would do that for, because otherwise that would have been source another Honda Civic. Source another <laughs> Honda Civic. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to get near misses. Oh, okay, right. Oh, this one. Oh, I love mm, this one. This one, I know. I no, you've got to find some cars. To follow the line. To follow the line. This one also pretty hard to get three stars on. Mm -hmm. um, well, well, I say this, but then Andy's probably going to walk it. I'm, really, I'm just thinking, me and you balance this, so it's <laughs> <probably> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this is probably going to be a, a walk in the park for Andy. Well, let's let's see let's see if he knows the strat. Oh yes, looks like he knows the strat. Oh, well, I'm going to go for same direction for this bit, and maybe switch up halfway through. Oh, that's all right. He, he was indicating then, wasn't he? So he was. Let you know. Oh. It's all right. We're under control, <laughs> just about. <laughs> so, uh, how many? I think this get? is like, this is really stressful to watch. So I can't imagine how stressful it is for you to be playing this right now. And <laughs> <laughs> Live, yep. <laughs> no, Jamie. <laughs> no. I need all the traction I can get right now. <laughs> Where are these cars? Let's see you're at. 207. Yeah. Um, two, uh, you're at two stars now. Oh, let's go that way. <laughs> go. Oh, but the needle yet? Go. Oh, lovely. 45. 45. I don't think we're going to make it, you know. I think maybe oncoming was the way to do it, but it's probably not best for a live demonstration, is it, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think oncoming is usually. Is usually the more fruitful for score, yeah. but yeah, I mean, or not not the most fruitful for not crashing into a car. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you got another mile. Yeah, you need those little clusters, don't you? Like head that's it. And also a mile at 200 miles an hour <laughs> doesn't last very long, does it? <laughs> <laughs> if you do this last bit, here you okay, go. right. Okay, so so now we're going expert mode. There you go, 34. Yeah, 37 There's is four it? On the oh side. no! We're not going to make them. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, close. Two stars. I think there was actually we crossed over. There was an opportunity yeah. there. Mm. There we go. Yeah. yeah, so I think this one's going to have a really interesting leaderboard. Mm. I think yeah. this one will be a I can tell you, fact, it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> We've got time for one more? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do another one. Okay, let's look at chapter six. Okay. <clears throat> it's kind of uh, on, on the theme where we've been, uh, we've been talking about a little bit today. Oh, this is another Jamin <laughs> special. Supercar. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what Torben's. <laughs> I don't know. I think he might be here. That's, uh, alluding to to, uh, to um, Jamin's uh, <laughs> passion for exotic cars. <laughs> yeah, this one, that's this the one is a bit of an Arab right. shake. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the w one of the interesting things about designing this story was the fact that it was absolutely not difficult to find fodder for the chapters, mm. because there are some so many cars that are just absolute skill monsters. So it was uh, okay. Okay, we'll okay so we want one called Industrial Playground. Right. Okay. You've named another thing after the development team. Perfect. It's <laughs> if it, as if it wasn't confusing <laughs> yeah. enough to have to talk about our series of playground games and the playground games modes within there. <laughs> We've now also got the Industrial Playground story. Excellent. <laughs> But the other words are available. <laughs> no, <laughs> unfortunately not. Uh, there are only these words. Uh, so, ah, uh, yes. Yeah. No moving trains, no traffic, just a whole lot of asphalt. Oh no. And my We're back RSRX here. RSRX We're back where the stream started. Yeah. 600 horsepower, all-wheel oh, drive. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what it says on the tin, my friend. 
It looks so funny with all the race gear on, <laughs> talking to him. It's a casual conversation. On, okay, right, so we've got to beat the skills target. Yes. I think you are uh, perfectly dressed for this uh, yeah. story chapter as well. I would definitely want to have a suit and helmet on if I was... Uh, if you were doing it. Smashing through all this stuff. <laughs> and uh, this car that we're driving now has been in the game if you haven't been able to get it, unless right. you full star the entire story. This car is the reward for the story. So this is the brand new car you haven't been able to get it for? Yes. Oh, great, great. Ooh, don't but, um, as, as we've seen, uh, getting all the, all the stars in this story is uh, no, no mean feat. No. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a, there's a, 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 a Spitty Pickers couldn't make it onto the show because he, he's actually the guy who cracked the strap for doing this. Okay. We, uh, that we okay. set, the, set the bar against. Um, well, there you go. If, if Pickers can do it, uh, <laughs> oh, don't judge me against Pickers as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crikey, that was a bit close, wasn't it? <laughs> I need to find some more smashables to smash up. Oh. I mean, if you can manage a couple of drift taps, that'll, uh, that'll it's usually good to push you over the edge. Don't start egging me on with things like that. What could go wrong, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Just touch ever so slightly, so that it registers the contact but doesn't lose your skill tree. Easy. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This this is this is on track. Not bad at the moment, but this is on track. But you've only got 25 seconds left. This is only a two-minute story. Yeah. So no pressure, but you're. You're at 10 <gasps> seconds. Oh, oh, no, he's ruined and that's, it. <laughs> and that's live TV, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I just lost and it in it. the shadows uh, there. And, uh, and now we're on zero stars. Zero. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Sacked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next week, you can sit upstairs and we'll get Matt packed <laughs> Yeah, see how he likes it. <laughs> it's a, yeah. Oh, okay. well, there you go. It is tricky. Talk, talking and driving on the stream is, is not as easy as you would think. Um, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to do it again, don't worry. No, no, no. <laughs> um, so, uh, a Alli illiterate idiot, good gamer tag, asks, uh, so when are we going to be able to get the uh, Capri Forza Edition as a championship reward or Forza Stunt item? Illiterate idiot, uh, sit tight. Um, I, w I imagine we'll have something for you in the next update, not mm -hmm. this one. So, yeah, we've got, got, we'll have news for that one upcoming. But, yes, uh, we will be making that available to a lot more players very soon. Yes. There, uh, there will be chances to there get will, it. There will be a way to get it. Um, it might not be easy, but there'll be a way to get it. <coughs> so okay. uh, next up is a uh, challenge that we received from a member of the community. Uh, those watching this may well know Don Juan Song. Um, he, he, he tweeted at me and Retro Crystal and said, hey, I've created a route. Why don't you see if you can do it on the stream? And you know, because we're willing to make fools of ourselves, we, um, we agreed to do it. Um, so I should, should reiterate, we are in a development build, so uh, Torben has had to grab this file from yeah. the, uh, the retail server that you guys play on and bring it across the development server, which is why it says it was uh, made created by, by It was Torben. absolutely uh, not made by me. <laughs> uh, I, I take no credit for, for, for this level of madness. <laughs> right. uh, Torben, Torben drives first. Yes. Uh, yeah. um, okay, so, yeah. so what are the rules for this thing? Yeah, so because... Um, because this is, it's, it's quite difficult, as, as you'll see. Um, it's, it is a... You got so, an automatic. It's on automatic, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, we should have the manual clutch just yeah. to, to turn up the spice. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the rules we're going to do is every time that you miss a checkpoint or have to rewind, you've got to pass the control. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, let's see how we go. So this is the third in uh, Don Juan Song's uh, ninja training series, which are, all of which are l ludicrous tests of driving skill. It starts out, oh, it's just normal. We're just going for a drive in the center. And then you realize At that. Night. And then you realize that, oh, no, he's set every checkpoint to the minimum checkpoint width, which is about the same as the car. Uh, so no, 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 very quickly no, no, realize no. how un-ninja you are. Oh, there we go, back that's the pad. We go. Are you going for it next, Mike? I'll go, okay. go. I think you probably want to go another rewind back. <coughs> yes. Yes, yeah. I'm not in that tree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there we go, from there. That is really clever. It's Yeah, so, oh no. So th this is a, a, obviously a, a tool that I've used as a level designer uh, creating the various routes that we put in the game. And it's, uh, it's a very in interesting interpretation of, of how you would use that tool. <laughs> I remember we had Craig, our lead level designer on here, talking about the, uh, all the kind of the rules for uh, you know, really great, well-designed route, route creator yeah, yeah. Uh, stuff. 
this is not it. This is not what we would usually consider to be uh, our planet. Our planet. <laughs> no, I think that's uh, a rewind. It's, I think Bonnet, <laughs> Bonnet Cam did you in a little bit there. I don't know. I feel like you got a. You get the get, time resume from there. I think it makes it easier. Yeah, I think you're. Yeah, Right. Dab, dab the brake. Well, I'm going back to it. Oh, 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 oh yeah. no, that counts. Yep, Pass no, it sorry. on. <laughs> <laughs> this is just going to be a constant cycle through cameras now. It's, it's just going to. Yeah. Um, so as soon as we get off the sofa at the end of the stream, we will be adding this as a featured route. So yes. it was Lakehurst Forest Trail, I think it starts at. Mm -hmm. uh, to be able to find it there. Is it, can you find it through the Creative Hub as well? You can. It will be listed as a PG pick. PG pick. Oh, he's missed. Oh, I missed it. That didn't look in. Oh, I, <laughs> that was very much okay. not in. One more as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself half a chance. Uh, yeah, so we, previously we've done these community championships where you guys have been making kind of traditional race routes and sending them into us. Um, if you can think up any crazy challenges like this that you'd like to put us to a test on on the stream, by all means. That look like I missed. Oh, oh you're okay. Oh. Oh. Um, I right. <laughs> I got to go back one. I think, I think you, you should probably one. go back one more. There we go. Um, yeah, by all means, if you can come up with any crazy, fun challenges like this, by all means, send them in to us. Uh, we'll play them, we'll feature them, uh, and you can see if we can get the whole community to do your, your, your crazy creations. Um, oh, oh, thank whatever. you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so on this one as well, which is a, a new feature in, in Forza Horizon 4, that they, they will miss the checkpoints yes. often as well. Yeah, so <laughs> you've got to try and get past him on a, on a clear bit without the... Uh, when I watched the, the YouTube video of it, I noticed that uh, Don managed to get around all the AI cars at the very, very start. Yeah, that is kind of the, that is the key to oh, it. Look, we've got a standstill oh, there here. We go. the <laughs> right, okay, let's see if we can make a little bit of progress now. Yeah, so I mean, that, that, little, the that little procession there is yeah. just all those cars managed to overshoot that checkpoint is this and all being reset. Yeah, so. that I've seen. I mean, this, this gives me absolute uh, wipeout uh, flashbacks. I love it. It's like a zero, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Andy. <clears throat> okay. Um. <laughs> it's slightly mesmerizing. Oh, no, I was just, I was just, I was just reading this, this comment from Tom. Um. Yeah, so I think as we are running for time, um, we're <coughs> going to talk through, while you're doing this, we yeah. are, we'll, leave, we'll leave Andy at the wheel and Tom and I will talk through what's coming up. So, um, uh, we've got a load of bug fixes in this update as well. Uh, you talked about the changes to uh, Horizon Stories already. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, there's the leaderboard thing for Horizon yes, Stories. Yes, uh, you can access the Morph Chapter Select. It makes it a little bit easier, i.e. actually possible. Uh, to see other people's uh, leaderboard entries uh, without having to play the chapter. Yeah, there was an issue people have been reporting with audio stuttering mm. uh, when the game had been suspended and then you came back to resume. Um, sometimes the audio would stutter out. Uh, mm. That should be either massively reduced or fixed now. And there's also a bunch of fixes to force feedback. Uh, sometimes it would be extremely forceful um, and you know risk injury. So we have uh, <laughs> fixed that as well. Um, I think we are. Yeah, we are really cl close, to the, close to the wire in terms of time, so let's talk about what's coming up in Update 7 as well. Uh, we have a great new feature, uh, which I'm not going to reveal too much of, but it's called Festival Playlist, yes. uh, which really is uh, a whole new way to play uh, Forza Horizon 4. It's a feature we are absolutely thrilled about, but it's, uh, it's really great. Yeah, it, really, it really brings together uh, Forza Thon, Season Events, Team Adventure, uh, all of it comes together in like... Uh, in one central hub, and it gives mm -hmm. you like a really, a really great way to play. And it's a really great place to uh, showcase uh, new features. Yes, yes, because <laughs> excellent, excellent segue, uh, Torben. Yes, because another new feature uh, we have is showcase remixes, which is uh, a feature we've been really, really looking forward to releasing. Which yeah. is uh, obviously you guys will be familiar with the Horizon Showcase events. Um, they kind of. They're the, these kind of sort of moment in time kind of events yeah. where everything's kind of pre preset by us. You <coughs> tend to do them once and then uh, you, you've kind of done it then. So we are going to be revisiting those, remixing them, as mm -hmm. we call it, and adding a whole new fresh, of paint, uh, fresh lick of paint to, to all of those. Um, and, oh yeah, new achievements. <coughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, we will be uh, starting in a new batch of achievements uh, to the game. Uh, really looking forward to that. Just sitting and, and uh, fine tuning uh, how many G and what for and, and so on. Uh, and when they go live, please do not add me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the war riding fix, which we had been hoping to get into update six, has been dropped back to update seven. Uh, Chris, who was on the sofa earlier, has still tuning all those physics values, which uh, to make to make sure that works in a way that we're happy with. Um, because I know it's something that people wait for for a long time, and we want to make sure that we get it right. Yes. Um, 
All right, I think we are out of time. I think we are out of time. So um, thanks very much. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, it's been a, been a jam-packed show. As I say, if you, if you like Don Juan Song, have created any bonkers routes that you'd like to challenge us with, then by all means, uh, tweet at me, tweet at uh, Retro Crystal, at We Are Playground Games, uh, any of those, and we will find it. Um, um, yep, yeah, so nicely done, Andy. You, um, Don, Juan, Don Juan Song says in chat, nicely done, Andy. I think he's clocked oh, that for, for about the last 50% 50, 50 of the race there. <laughs> I'm going to frame that comment and put that on my wall. <laughs> thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right, thanks, everyone. I've been Mike Brown. This was Andy Baranowski. This was Torben Ellett. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you next month. Thank you. Play it on Xbox One.